Best Magnesium for High Blood Pressure, Effective Forms and Dosages. Welcome back to the channel. Everyone, today, we're diving deep into a topic that's crucial for countless individuals managing their heart health. The vital role of magnesium in combating high blood pressure. While many of us know magnesium is important, not all forms are created equal, especially when targeting hypertension. Research is increasingly highlighting specific types of magnesium that are exceptionally effective for lowering blood pressure due to their superior absorption and direct cardiovascular benefits. Many of us simply aren't getting enough from our diets alone. And that's where the right supplement can make a profound difference. Join me as we break down the effective options and dosages that may be your key to healthier blood pressure numbers. Let's start with the fundamental question. How does magnesium actually influence your blood pressure? Think of magnesium as nature's own blood pressure regulator, tirelessly working behind the scenes to keep your cardiovascular system in balance. When we're deficient in this essential mineral, our blood pressure can silently begin to creep upwards. The science behind magnesium's blood pressure lowering effects is truly fascinating. It primarily works through several key mechanisms. Firstly, vasodilation. Magnesium helps your blood vessels relax by increasing the production of nitric oxide, a molecule that signals vessels to widen. This directly reduces pressure against your arterial walls. Secondly, calcium regulation. Magnesium acts like a natural break by blocking excessive calcium entry into smooth muscle cells, preventing your blood vessels from constricting too much. And thirdly, it plays a role in ROS modulation. Tempering the renin-angiotensin system, which, when overactive, can significantly spike blood pressure. Clinical trials have shown meaningful results, with meta-analyses indicating that daily magnesium supplementation, especially at doses of 400 mg or more, can lead to significant reductions in systolic blood pressure. The effects are often strongest for those with existing deficiencies or uncontrolled hypertension highlighting its potential as a powerful complementary therapy. A critical point many miss is that a large number of us are walking around with undiagnosed magnesium deficiencies. Standard blood tests often don't catch early depletion, making symptoms our primary clue. Are you experiencing persistent muscle cramps or spasms, especially at night? Feeling fatigued despite adequate sleep? Noticing irregular heart rhythms or palpitations? Frequent headaches or migraines? or perhaps an increased sensitivity to stress? These signs, when combined with high blood pressure, strongly suggest an underlying magnesium inadequacy. Now, for the crucial question, when choosing the best magnesium for high blood pressure, which forms truly deliver? Absorption and cardiovascular benefits are paramount. Let's break down the top contenders backed by research. My top pick is magnesium taurate. This form combines magnesium with taurine, an amino acid known to enhance cardiovascular function. This duo is incredibly effective for lowering blood pressure because taurine boosts nitric oxide for better blood vessel relaxation, while magnesium blocks excess calcium, reducing arterial stiffness. It also offers antioxidant protection and can help stabilize heart rhythms. For optimal results, aim for about 300 mg of elemental magnesium daily which is approximately 1,500 mg of magnesium taurate. Next, we have magnesium glycinate. This form binds magnesium to glycine, which significantly enhances absorption and minimizes digestive upset, making it ideal for steady blood pressure support without laxative effects. Glycinate's high bioavailability means more magnesium gets to where it needs to be. And it also helps calm the nervous system indirectly supporting healthier blood pressure levels. Typical doses range from 200 to 400 mg daily. While it may not directly target heart function like taurate, its excellent tolerability makes it superb for long-term use. Other forms like citrate, malate, and L-theranate have their uses. But for direct blood pressure support, taurate and glycinate stand out. Getting the right type and amount of magnesium is key. But knowing how to incorporate it into your daily life makes all the difference. Let's talk about optimal dosages, food sources, and when supplements become essential. For adults, current guidelines from the National Institutes of Health recommend around 400 to 420 mg daily for men and 310 to 320 mg for women. 
However, studies show that those with high blood pressure may benefit from slightly higher intakes, up to 500 mg daily, especially if they are deficient. If you take more than 350 mg, splitting it into two servings can improve absorption and reduce digestive discomfort. Magnesium-rich foods should always be your first line of defense. Spinach, pumpkin seeds, almonds, black beans, and avocado are excellent sources. But honestly, nearly 50% of people don't meet the recommended daily allowance through diet alone. This is where high-quality supplements become necessary, especially if your blood pressure remains elevated or if you have conditions like diabetes that increase magnesium excretion. Taking supplements with meals can improve absorption, and an evening dose might even enhance relaxation and sleep, both beneficial for blood pressure management. Understanding safety is paramount when using any supplement. While magnesium is generally safe for most, certain conditions, dosages, and drug interactions require careful consideration. Exceeding recommended amounts can lead to digestive upset like diarrhea or nausea. Especially with cheaper forms, switching to glycinate or taurate often resolves this. Extremely high doses could potentially lower blood pressure too much, causing dizziness. It's also possible for excessive magnesium to imbalance other minerals like calcium or potassium. To prevent issues, start with a lower dose and gradually increase. Always take magnesium with food, and choose highly absorbable forms to minimize side effects. Most importantly, Consult your doctor before starting magnesium if you have kidney disease, heart block, severe arrhythmias, or conditions like myasthenia gravis. As these require medical supervision, magnesium can also interact with certain medications, including antibiotics and some blood pressure drugs. So always discuss your supplement regimen with your healthcare professional. If you experience muscle weakness, confusion, or a regular heartbeat after starting magnesium, Seek immediate medical help. In summary, when it comes to the best magnesium for high blood pressure, magnesium glycinate and taurate truly stand out. Their high absorption and targeted cardiovascular benefits make them excellent choices for supporting healthy blood pressure, especially when combined with a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle. Prioritizing quality supplements and proper dosage can make a measurable difference in your blood pressure control journey. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who could benefit from this crucial information. Don't forget to subscribe for more expert-backed content on natural health and wellness. Thanks for watching, and here's to your optimal health.